It's tuition time now, a chance to learn a few tricks of the trade. Iona Stephen is with golf coach Tom Reed. So, Tom, talk to me a little bit about pitching, a really important skill in golf. Try and get the ball nice and close to the pin if we can. We've done the hard work. We're up by the green. Where do we go from there? OK, so a pitch really is somewhere between sort of 30 and 100 yards, depending on how far you're hitting the ball. It's not a full swing. It's not a half swing. It's about a three-quarter move. Mm -hmm. Now, the most important things with, with pitching are ensuring that we use the bounce of the club and we make sure that the golf club doesn't dig too much as we come into impact. Mm -hmm. So just from a setup perspective, first and foremost, let's make sure that rather than being at shoulder width with our, with our stance, we're gonna go just inside of that and we're gonna ensure that we take a little bit of length off the club by taking about an inch to two inches from the top end of the club there, okay, in okay. our setup. And as a consequence, we're gonna to have to stand a little closer to the ball. Right. Okay, so that's the first thing that we'll do. And by doing that, we can reduce the length of the club and keep the swing length nice and neat and tidy. Okay. If we go with a wide stance and we grip to the top, we're encouraged to keep that club long and then we won't be able to control the speed in which that club head comes through the ball. Yeah. Okay, so let's get you into a nice simple setup position first. Okay. And once we've done that, we can start to talk about the technique. So the only other thing I would suggest from a setup perspective is if you let the left foot just splay out ever so slightly. Yes. Okay, perfect. That right foot can stay pointing forwards. Now, okay. the reason we do that is because we preset that left hip just a little bit open. Okay. And with a much slower club head speed and a shorter shot, it's very difficult for the hips to open up. So what we do is just give it a little head start with that setup position, okay? Perfect, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so if you just get yourself into setup there. Okay. And we'll just do a couple of uh, pitch shots now just at normal speed for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll have a look at what you, you generally do. Okay. Very nice. Now, obviously club face control is one of the keys. The other thing that, you know, we had a nice shallow divot there, okay? More yeah. of a bacon rasher than a pork chop. That's the type <laughs> of divot depth that we want. And the worst thing we can do is, is down cock the wrist and get lots of shaft lean and have the club digging into the ground. Yeah. Because what will happen then is we'll hit down, the ball will pop up and we'll lose all control of trajectory. Of course. And therefore we won't be able to control how far that ball is going to carry. And I think that's actually quite a misconception. People in pitching think you've got to get really steep on the ball. Not the case. No, absolutely not. We want to be as shallow as possible. Uh, if you watch Tiger Woods, he's probably one of the best pitchers in the game now, yeah. you'll see that he's very shallow with his divots. And what happens then is that the golf club can move through the ball and the ball can run up all of the grooves of the face, which is going to generate the maximum spin. Yeah, very so, important. Absolutely, yeah. And, and the feeling for that downswing, I've got a drill here that I'd like you to try, owner. So yes. if you just set up with just your left hand only on the club here, okay? Okay. And what I'd like you to do is rotate the club back into that sort of preset position. Okay, I'm just gonna stand okay. so I don't whack That's you. it there. And then use your right hand to kind of fling the club head through impact there. And what you're seeing is that the club head is flowing. And because the golf club is bottoming out at the same time as the hands, we're not getting that horrible steep sort of digging impact. Perfect, yeah. Nice and shallow. Absolutely, yeah. And you can see that your body is turning naturally as you do that as yep. well, which is something we want to encourage. It's almost bruising the grass rather than sort of tearing it apart. Yes, absolutely right, absolutely. Okay. So after a couple of feelings of that drill there, Iona, where the golf club's moving here with a nice throw with that right hand, just go ahead and hit a few shots with the same feeling where that right hand is helping the golf club release on the way through. Great, yeah. That little bruising of the grass. That's right, absolutely. Okay. And that's where the bounce of the club can be utilised fully. Definitely. Let's see if I can... Okay, nice setup position there. Beautiful. How did that feel? Yeah, I, f I could definitely feel it releasing more effectively than my first one, for sure. Good. Um, because of that, I got a little bit more speed, so it came out a little bit hotter than I expected, but I could feel myself using the bounce of the club, the sole of the club, more effectively there. Perfect, and that gives me a great intro into the drill that I think that all golfers that are practicing, practicing their pitching should do. And of course, the synchronization between the arms and the body is crucial when pitching. And if your body can move at the same time as your arms, you can control the speed of the club head. And of course, it's integral at this distance that you make the ball land on the exact number that you're trying to. Definitely. So what we're going to do here, okay, is I'm going to get you to wrap this towel under your arms. Okay. Okay, that's it. 
tuck that one under there. Now, make a few practice swings without a ball, okay? So your arms and your body are now gonna be in sync because you're gonna keep that towel nicely connected at the bottom of your arms there. Perfect. Ah, okay, I can really feel that much better connection. I actually do get very disconnected with my body and my arms, so this is a great one for me. Yeah, nice and simple too. So what we'll do now is once you've had a good few practice swings with this, and sometimes it's nice to do without the ball for a little while, just yeah. to get the feeling and get used to your arms and body arriving together, go ahead and just hit a few shots. Okay. And your challenge is to hit a pitch shot whilst the towel stays connected into your armpits there, okay? Okay, Let's see if I can do it. Much better strike. Beautiful. No divot, right? No divot. Little brush of the grass. Good. Fully utilising the bounce. Excellent. Perfect. I think, I think I, well, I should really carry on, although I would like to stop on that one because it was a nice one. Some really good tips there, Tom. Thanks for that. Helping us with our pitching, get more control, better spin, hopefully some better scores as a result.